What's up, dudes and dudes? It's your internet. My name is Seth, and we are back here for Small Trove. But today, we're going to be talking about what you need to know about the Eclipse update, Shadow Tower 2.0, when it comes out August 27th, uh, 2nd, not 7th, this month. So, there's going to be quite a few fundamental changes to some of the uh, stuff that's already in game. Now, this is, this is exactly why I have this video because I have talked about all these different features that are coming uh, in other separate videos, but I thought it was about time that I had just one big collage where I actually talk about it all. So, uh, first and foremost, Empowered Gem Boxes, you're going to want to save as many of them as you can, because those are going to end up having the uh, darkness, uh, heart, I don't know, some weird darkness item, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but that is a crafting component that is required to re-roll your gem stats. I know, right? Uh, then there's going to be the daily loot boxes. So the daily loot boxes are no longer daily loot boxes. Console players especially got very confused because they got a couple daily loot boxes and then they ended up going away. Ignore the mastery. We'll talk about that in another video. Uh, but for the weekly contest, there's always going to be experience earned. And that is where you're going to end up getting the daily loot chest. These are going to end up eventually being renamed to like leaderboard chests or something to that effect, uh, but these are going to end up containing items relating to uh, the uh, augmenting like the, the augmented items, right? Which ripped me because I already made a video unboxing pretty much all my daily loot boxes, right? Uh, then Shadow Tower Keys in general as you're going through these weeks and just completing Shadow Towers, I personally would recommend that you save all of your keys rather than opening the box uh, at the end with the Titan's treasures and stuff, or not the Titan treasures, but the, the Titan chest once you actually defeat the boss and stuff like that, because not only is there going to be one of the most beautiful mounts in the game for the uh, Dreadnought and a couple different mounts that you're going to be able to get out of Hydra. As far as I know, the uh, mount itself can drop from the boss as well as the chest. That's what the devs ended up saying. But more importantly than that, Titan Souls, Lunar Souls, uh, and Divinity Souls, which is just another lunar soul that you get from daughter of the moon for some weird reason all of those souls are not going to be given to you after you defeat the boss anymore so you're gonna have to use a key uh on one of the chests in order to actually uh you know end up getting your titan souls for the week so it encourages more grinding in you know just normal primal uber worlds and stuff like that right which is kind of weird that they would do something like that when people want to go and get all the elemental stuff but in any case, one thing that is going to be kind of nice, it's not really, like, it, honestly, I find it completely useless, but it still is a nice feature, is that an Eclipse key, for example, you can now only use on Ultra uh, boxes, but when the update ends up hitting, you're going to be able to use that key retroactively. So you can actually use an Eclipse key on a hard mode uh, uh, Titan chest. I don't know why you would do that, but you can even use an Eclipse key on a normal uh, Shadow Tower boss chest. Like, I still don't know why you would do that, but hey, whatever, it's still worth actually uh, checking out. Then there's going to be the gem boxes in general. So you may have noticed, in general, you may have noticed that I have like over 2,000 Shadow Gem Boxes. I Honestly speaking, I haven't been grinding that much. This is just kind of saved up like over the next, uh, like over a month or two, because the gems are going to change quite a bit. There's lots of things that are going to be happening with the gems in general. I'm going to have other videos that are going to talk about when that Shadow Tower update ends up hitting. But more importantly, gems will never be able to generate with health regen that update and onward. So that's why you want to save all these boxes, because if you're not going to be reliant on... Like, yeah, you can randomize your gems. You can randomize a stat on a gem, but it's time locked because you gotta grind stuff over uh, like weeks in order to actually get all that stuff or uh, something like that. Honestly, we're not focusing on any of that. The point is that if you don't want to rely on the uh, gem re-rolling and just rely on good old fashioned luck, save all your boxes, I'd recommend it. And on top of that, this is just from my own personal experience uh, from playing this game for such a long time. I would recommend that you save at least one full set of health regen gems. Because, I'm just calling it here, them getting it off of all of the gems, uh, the devs are expecting us to slowly over time just get rid of all the gems uh, that end up having the health regen, right? And thus so it would end up eventually happening. 
I'm suspecting that maybe in a year or something like that, maybe less, they'll end up buffing health regen because the game will be more balanced towards people not having health regen on their gems. So if you end up having a whole bunch of health regen gems, you're probably going to end up being really OP. But who knows what they'll do with that. They might just have an elegant solution as to forcing the stat off of the gems. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, gem booster boxes as well is something that you want to end up saving, folks, because they're going to be changing a couple of the items out of those. Uh, as far as I know, the golden gem box key is... Either it's less common or it's not in those boxes at all anymore. Honestly, I, I, I'm not exactly sure. I don't have the uh, test server patch notes and uh, offhand right now, sorry to say. But in any case, the uh, item that you use for the crafting components for like augmenting your gems, that's going to end up being... Hi, Jub Jub. That's going to end up being an item that's required... Uh, that you're going to end up getting out of the gem booster boxes. And uh, that's pretty much it, everybody. So I'm going to have a lot of other tutorial videos uh, coming out, not only as the Eclipse update ends up coming around sooner, uh, but most of all, once the Eclipse update ends up actually hitting. Like, I've got one uh, where I want to talk about, like, the ideal stats for gems and classes and stuff like that again, because things are kind of changing a little bit with the subclasses coming into play. But this was a very important tutorial that I actually wanted to do for quite some time but I've been extremely busy with this so <laughs> and I'm a little bit under the weather and sick right now but in either case thanks for watching everybody very much appreciate it hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope most of all that it was helpful to you uh, the other thing too I want to mention is shadow caches you want to save all of those that you can as well because uh, hearts of darkness are going to end up becoming a lot more common when that shadow update ends up hitting because of the fact that there's going to end up being lots more things that you can end up actually buying with the hearts of darkness as well right so again thanks for watching don't forget to like share favorite and subscribe for more daily content as well as to get loyalty points to my merch store links are in the description for that sign on stay epic everybody